Well, it's August 7th, 2016, and today is finally moving day for the tiny house. My son is here with his pickup truck, and uh, we've got things loaded up. And this is the test run for the tiny house. Oops, the screen door opened up. We'll have to stop and get that fastened securely. We started this project back in March. And here it is August and we're just moving it, but there was no hurry really to move it up to the site. We're getting things ready up there to put in a pond and there's lots of work going on up there, so this was just a good day to move it. We'll stop out front here and check the air pressure and the tires before we get underway. Well, there's Mom. She's waving goodbye to the tiny house. She knows I was pretty excited to get it moved up to its new spot. We decided to take the back street out of our small village here to avoid any low hanging power lines or telephone lines. And so this is a pretty good route to take out of town. And there he goes around the corner there by the ball field on Cherry Lane. And it looks like he's traveling along pretty nicely here at the start of our six mile journey to where the tiny house will be parked. I'm following along in my pickup truck with the four-way flashers on and we're crossing across Dredge Road it's called. It's uh, all lowlands out through here, pretty swampy. Alright, now we're on the state highway and as I look down, looks like he's going about 40, 40 miles an hour. So we're traveling right along and it's a Sunday afternoon and there's not much traffic at all. So this was a good time to move the cabin. I made a couple other videos here. My first uh, tiny house video, I showed how I actually built the tiny house. And then the second one was focused on the interior and what I did inside. And now this is the moving day. So we've got a real nice spot up here on my son's land and he's going to back the tiny house right into its new home right on the edge of a tree line here. If you've ever backed up a trailer you know what that's like. He makes it look pretty easy doesn't he? So everybody if you haven't watched my Tiny House video number one, number two. Feel free to check those out here on Tim Tools 99 if you want to see how I actually built the tiny house, how I finished the interior. And here it is in its final spot. Now it's time to get it jacked up and leveled and get the front deck on. And my battery hooked up and solar panel, propane tank for heat. And then we'll be all ready for winter to come up and enjoy the tiny house.